Welcome to Greater Works. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you do, please like, subscribe, and comment. Today's video covers power tapping 6061 aluminum on a Grizzly GO704 mill. I'm tapping a metric M8 by 125 thread for a future project. This is not an end all video on tapping, but rather how I power tap using a mill for years that may help you out in your tapping. You'll need the correct tools to perform the job to lessen the chance of breaking a tap in the workpiece. I use the number three center drill. You could also use a spotting drill, a letter H for the drill, which has a diameter of 0.266 inches, which is about 14 thousand smaller than a 6.8 millimeter diameter that is called for. I also use the 60 degree countersink to chamfer the tapped entrance hole. I use the tooth loop M8 by 125 tap to cut the threads. The most important resource that I used was Tap Magic for aluminum. If you don't have Tap Magic, you can use a very lightweight oil for lubrication like mineral oil. After I located where I wanted the tapped hole on the workpiece and locked down my ways on the mill to avoid any movement, I was ready to start the power tapping process. I chucked up the number three center drill and made a starting mark for the drill. The center drill is only used for putting a starting mark on your workpiece so that your conventional drill will start easy without walking or grab. I then proceeded to drill the through hole in the aluminum workpiece. I used a pecking motion, which is an up and down motion to break and clear the chips from the drill bit and some tap magic. Make sure to clean the chips out of the hole after each operation. Once the hole is drilled through the aluminum workpiece, I removed the drill and replaced the drill with a 60 degree countersink and used some tap magic on it. The countersink helps get the tap started and will eliminate the pull-up area that results around the tap hole when tapping. This also produces a better looking tap hole. My old tool and die maker mentor used to tell me, make it look good and professional, like it belongs where you put it. I make sure to clean the drilled and countersink hole once more and add some tap magic to the hole. I chuck up the tap and add some tap magic to it. Make sure you set the speed at a very low rate. You'll need one hand on the power switch and one hand on the quill feet. You'll need to apply light pressure downward on the quill feet and reduce the pressure once the tap starts to bite the aluminum workpiece because it will feed itself at that point. If 
Be prepared to feel the power to the mill if you meet resistance or break through the workpiece. Once stopped, you can reverse the mill and apply light word upward pressure on the quill feed until the tap clears the workpiece. Again, the tap will feed itself out of the hole, but you will need to help clear the threads, otherwise they will get damaged or ruined. Clean the tapped hole with chips and check the hole with the bolt or screw of the correct size to check the fit. I really suggest for first timers to power tapping to try a few holes in some scrap to develop the feel of tap going in and out of the hole. You could also try a hole without the countersink to see what the pull up looks like around the tapped hole and compare it to a hole that you countersunk and tapped. I think you'll notice the difference. Thank you for watching Graber Works and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe for future videos, and comment. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.